A seismic shift is underway in aviation. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the skies, their jets forming the backbone of global air travel. But now, China's aviation market is exploding, with hundreds of millions of new passengers each year. This surge has made China the world's most lucrative aerospace market. Yet China doesn't want to be a customer forever, it wants to be a creator. For Beijing, relying on foreign jets is a strategic vulnerability. What if political tensions cut off aircraft supplies? What if trade disputes ground Chinese fleets? These questions drive China's push for a homegrown aerospace industry. The goal, build jets that rival Boeing and Airbus, not just for China, but for the world. The first step was the ARJ-21, then the C919, a direct challenger to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. The C919, though reliant on Western tech, is a statement of intent a flying classroom for mastering jetliner production but the real ambition is the C929, a wide-body jet designed for long-haul travel. The C929 aims to compete with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350, the industry's most advanced jets. For Boeing and Airbus, the C929 is a looming threat to their most profitable market. For China, it's the key to aviation independence and global industrial power. The battle for the future of the skies has begun. The C929 is China's chosen champion. The world is watching. The C929 story began not in a design lab, but in a geopolitical crisis. In 2014, Russia's annexation of Crimea triggered Western sanctions, isolating its aerospace industry. Russia needed a partner, and found one in China. China, eager to build a wide-body jet, saw an opportunity. Russia brought engineering expertise, China brought manufacturing power and a vast market. Together they launched the CR929 project, C for China, R for Russia the plan a family of jets for both nations, and eventually, the world. Russia's UAC would lead airframe design, China's COMAC would handle manufacturing and supply chains. The CR929-600 would carry 280 passengers over 12,000 kilometers. But beneath the surface, tensions simmered. Russia wanted global exports and profit sharing, China prioritized its own market and self-sufficiency. This misalignment created a persistent rift. The partnership was ambitious, but fragile. The cracks would only widen. The stage was set for conflict. The future of the project hung in the balance. The partnership's cracks became chasms after Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Western sanctions cut Russia off from key aerospace suppliers. The cr 929 supply chain collapsed overnight. Comac faced a choice, continue with Russia and be isolated, or go it alone. Russia, now a liability, pushed for more control as China grew frustrated. Disputes over market access and revenue boiled over. By mid-2023, Russia publicly downgraded its role, effectively out of the project. The R was dropped, the CR-929 became the C-929. The dream of a Sino-Russian challenger was over. The project now rested solely on China's shoulders. Many thought the project would die with Russia's exit. Instead, at the 2023 Paris Air Show, Comac unveiled the C-929, reborn as a solo Chinese effort. This was more than a name change, it was a declaration of self-reliance. China was doubling down, making the C-929 a national crusade. Freed from partnership disputes, Comac could now pursue a unified vision. Crucially, it could re-engage Western suppliers for key systems. Companies like GE and Safran are eager to access China's market. Shedding Russia reopened the door to global technology, at least for now, but going solo is harder and costlier. Comac must now develop expertise once provided by Russia. The timeline has slipped to the early 2030s, yet this gives China time to mature its supply chain and most importantly, develop its own jet engine. The solo journey is tougher, but the reward, a truly Chinese aircraft, is far greater. The C929 is now a symbol of national pride and technological ambition. China is all in. The world is watching to see if it can deliver. The C929 is designed to take on the world's best wide-body jets. The baseline model seats 280-300 passengers, rivaling the Airbus A330neo and Boeing 787. With a range of 12,000 kilometers, it can connect China to Europe, North America, and Australia. The airframe will use over 50% advanced composites, mirroring the latest Western designs. This means lighter weight, better fuel efficiency, and improved passenger comfort. The cockpit will feature state-of-the-art avionics and high automation. 
Initial systems will likely come from Western suppliers, but China is developing domestic alternatives. The C929 will also use more electric systems, reducing maintenance and improving reliability. Success depends on offering competitive costs and efficiency. Chinese airlines will be the launch customers, but global sales are the real test. To win abroad, Comac must prove the C929 is reliable and well-supported. That's a challenge that takes decades to master. Despite its ambitions, the C929 relies heavily on Western technology, engines, avionics, landing gear, these are dominated by a few specialized Western firms. Comac must use these suppliers to get the C929 flying quickly, but this creates a strategic vulnerability. A trade war or sanctions could halt production overnight. The US has already used export controls in other sectors, aviation could be next. Certification is another hurdle. Global sales require approval from US and European regulators. This process is slow, detailed, and subject to political influence. China's strategy is twofold. Use Western tech now, replace it with domestic systems over time. This cynicization is a massive long-term effort. For Beijing, true independence is a national imperative. The C929 is both the test and the tool for this ambition. The stakes are high. The outcome will shape the future of global aviation. The biggest challenge is the jet engine. The C929 needs a Chinese-made high-bypass turbofan to be truly independent. Enter the CJ2000, developed by the Aero Engine Corporation of China. It aims to match the power and efficiency of the world's best engines. Developing it requires mastering advanced materials and engineering. Prototypes exist, but moving to a reliable, efficient production engine will take years. Even a small fuel efficiency gap can doom an aircraft's economics. Success would break the Western monopoly and give China control over its aviation future. The C929 may launch with Western engines, but its destiny depends on the CJ2000. This is the final, most difficult step to true aviation independence. The world is watching to see if China can climb this last mountain. 